Okay, in this tutorial, I just basically make you a new piece of geometry, and you're at really wit's end with ZBrush in this one, so be patient, be calm, and yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, first off, go into Macro and say, make a good box. Okay, so what I need is the x-axis, so if I go to transform and go to activate symmetry and look for the x-axis, I should be able to find that, and I see this is the x-axis. I see right and left both showing up. So I'm going to rotate that down, hold control and shift, let go of the mouse, and I get the single plane. Okay, so next step is I go into geometry and I say edge loop. Good. Okay, after I edge loop, I will delete hidden, and I get this. And when I divide, you'll see something that's pretty odd. If you delete hidden, delete higher, then divide, I get this. Now the problem with this, however, is it's not, you know, round. It's kind of like pseudo round. Okay, and here's what you can do. If you go to the transform and r activate radial, lower it to 2, have X and Z on at the same time, sometimes this has a problem with the move tool. See, you can only move a, one corner, the other corner. Okay, because it's not very accurate. It's not even close to accurate. Okay, so there's what we have. I'm going to delete higher this time and I'm going to divide it. And you can see it's a little bit more round. Okay? And I'm just going to repeat that process, delete higher. Okay, now what? Well, I can actually go into the sub palette and go into uh, this all the way to one, this all the way to one, this all the way, well, to about right here, and hit extract. Okay, now I get this. Okay, if I go to the extract and turn on frame, well, you'll find out this is a perfect part. It's got all the structure of a perfect uh, cylinder because it's got a good end cap to it, not triangles. I could divide it up. And I can get pretty close to round. Okay, so if you don't have Maya or any other 3D program that you could produce this part, there you go. In ZBrush, I produced that part. Enjoy!